this program will remove all the valves out of a word, specific word. So basically what's going to happen in the background is I'm going to run through this word from the first character and I'm going to test each character to see whether it's a vowel or not. If it's a vowel, then I'm not going to add it to a new word. So I'm going to build a new word. So I'm going to check the first character. If it's a vowel, I'm not going to add it. If it's not a vowel, then I'm going to add it to my new word. So the W will be added. The O will not be added. Then the R will be added. And then the D will be added. Okay, so it's going to check this one. Add that one. Don't add the O, so it's going to add the R. And then it's going to add the D. Okay, so I take whatever the guy entered, put in the S word. I make sure S new is empty when I start off. I make everything lowercase that the guy entered. So even if it was entered in uppercase, it will take it down to lowercase. Um, then I'm going to start a loop from one to the length of the word. So I want to run through the whole word from the first character to the last character of that word. Then I'm going to test if that character, in this case the first character, is a A, E, U, I, O, o if it's false. So that means it's not one of these. Then I know it's not a vowel. Then I can add it to my new word. If it's a E, then it's not going to go into this if statement. It's going to go back up to the for loop and it's going to try try the next character. So it's going to run from the first character to the last character and it's going to build up a new word without all these vowels in. And then it's going to display it in the label.capture. Show message in the if statement just to show you how the word is built up. Okay, remember this one this if statement is set to false so if it's not true it's going to add it to the new word is new.